Historically, lions inhabited countries like India, the Middle East, Europe, and Africa. Today, apart from a small population in India, they are mostly found in Africa. Previously, lions living in India were categorized as Asiatic lions, and those in Africa were simply African lions. But now, lions found in India, North Africa, Western Africa, and Central Africa are known as Panthera leo leo, and the lions in Southern and Eastern Africa are called Panthera leo melanocata. Belonging to the latter category, the Cape lion once inhabited the natal and Cape provinces of South Africa. Though the distinctiveness of the Cape lion is debated, this particular lion had unique physical characteristics. One feature was its luxuriant, dark-colored mane. In 1842, Charles Smith described the Cape Lion as a very large variety, with a great mane of the same color extending beyond the shoulders, including a fringe of black hair under the belly. Hence, this lion was also called the Black Maned Lion. Another feature was its ears, which had black edges. In 1930, zoologist Reginald Pocock described a mounted specimen having a luxuriant, lengthy mane that extended over the shoulder. He further stated that the mane was wholly black. After the tiger, the lion is the second largest member of the cat family. On average, male lions weigh between 420 to 550 pounds. Females are smaller, weighing between 270 to 400 pounds. However, a male Cape lion supposedly weighed up to 600 pounds. According to some writers, like Sir Alfred Pease, 600-pound lions were formerly shot south of the Val River in South Africa. Interestingly, the largest lion recorded in the wild is from Hector Spruit in South Africa. The lion, which weighed 690 pounds, was a man-eater and was ultimately shot down by a hunter in 1936. Because of its hefty weight, the lion found it easier to attack humans, so it became a man-eater. Nonetheless, a weight of 690 pounds is very unusual for a wild lion. Current weight estimates of lions are nowhere near this range. While there are reports of exceptionally large lions from the South African region, including an animal that measured over 12 feet, some experts doubt that the measurements were from freshly killed lions. Instead, it could have been from artificially stretched skins. American zoologist Edmund Heller stated that the largest of all is a South African lion. He also wrote that the skull of a Cape lion averaged at least an inch longer in length than any of the equatorial races. So were Cape lions really a distinctive subspecies? Although the Cape lion lived in close proximity to other lions in South Africa, Czech biologists Vratislav Mazak theorized that they were separated due to geological obstruction, the mountainous terrain of the eastern side of South Africa known as the Great Escarpment. Since they were separated, Mazak presumed that Cape lions were a geographically isolated species. But recent genetic studies revealed that the Cape lion was not notably different from other South African lions. Yet in a research paper from 1963, Mazak wrote, we have nowadays no more doubts that the extinct Cape lion represented a valid geographical subspecies and its systematic status grew clear. The demise of the Cape lion is attributed to hunting, although habitat loss may have played a part too. Following the arrival of European settlers, these lions were hunted for sport or because they were a threat to livestock. This was ironic since the lions preyed on livestock as their original prey diminished due to human activities. In 1858, the last Cape lion was killed. 
by 1870, the Cape lion was extinct. What remains is this picture, taken in 1860 at a Paris zoo. It's a rare photograph of a live Cape lion. It would have been apt to see a picture of a free lion, but here we have an animal behind bars, awaiting its inevitable fate.